Hey, hey, everybody. Hi, I'm on my way home from market. Weird day. Wasn't a lot of people, but I'll tell you what, it was one of my best days I've had in a long, long time. The heat, it didn't bring a lot of people out. It was, the heat index was 108 today. It's up in the high 90s. I don't mind the heat as long as I'm not closed in somewhere. Although my hair, but I ran my fingers through my hair, so it's a fucking mess. I don't really care. I'm on my way. Well, I'm on my way home, but I gotta stop at all these and pick up that bread I ordered last night. Make sure. Lord, I'm gonna try and talk my husband into going to the water tomorrow. I don't know what he'll say, but everybody's got plans tomorrow. Once have a house painting party and. Um, another one's being nice to his wife. I'm real quick friends with them. He's going to take her and let her have a day. Well, because that woman works like a dog. He's going to take her out for a nice dinner and just, you know, give her a great day. And I'm so happy for her because she really deserves it. And um, where the heck? I'm looking for the McDonald's because I'm going to go through there and get over. I'm going to go through there and get a sweet tea because I need something to drink. Um... Yeah, and a, a few other ones aren't going to be there, so um, I don't know. Maybe it'll help the rest of this. I have no clue there. Um, so I don't know. We may or may not go to market tomorrow. If we do, that's cool. I'm, I'm all over that. I see a McDonald's here. I wonder if I can get over here. I, oh, I could have went through that parking lot and come through. Uh, so anyhow, um, I don't know about tomorrow yet. Depends on the weather. If we, we get up, it's raining. I'll go to work it, but yeah, I love this weather. I'm all over this stuff. So anyhow, you know, I've kept you guys up to date on my um, two friends at the market thing, you know, and I'm sorry. Laura's my friend. You know, I mean, we're such, we're very close friends. I love her. Uh, Mary, I, I tried to like her, and I've been very nice to her since all this started, even though she tried to bring me into it, and I kept pulling away. However, I'm going to order my sweet tea. <laughs> really, is that necessary? Uh, no, honey, I just want the biggest sweet iced tea you have. I'm thirsty. Nope, that's it. All right, perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah, that wasn't necessary, that kid in that car like that. The whole front of the car was missing. Um, I guess they want money here, don't they? I'll give them $2. Give them many more than that for a sweet tea. Um, so anyhow, you know, I've been trying to stay neutral. You know, I should keep my loyalties to my friend. But, you know, I like to circumvent shit, you know, before it happens. And um, I went over, you know, this morning and spoke to her and said good morning. And um, I was busy today. I was busy. And uh, I'm going to pay for my tea. I um, didn't have time to go over there and hang out. I was helping other people with stuff. You know, we help each other. Well, some of us do. Hold on, guys. Hi, honey. Yeah, sweet tea. Oh, 11, okay. I got money. I just don't want to dig in my wallet. I guess I got to. <laughs> I didn't look at the thing, so. Okay, go, Angel. I guess I need to secure this money. Hang on, guys. I'll be right there with you. I'm trying to put shit in my purse and get out of the way because we're in the drive -thru. Thank you. That went pretty much without incident, but we'll see. This money away when I think about it. Um, oh, shoot, I gotta go by the bank, too. Okay, well, I guess I got a lot to do before I can go home. So, anyhow, I'm, you know, getting ready to go. We're all wanting to go home, and, um, I went over to check with Mary to see if she needed any, or not Mary, uh, my friend Laura, to see if she needed anything. 
and um, she was all caught up. She was good, so. Oh, good. Here comes my sweet tea. Oh, cool. Hold on, guys. At least I think so. And nobody has poured my sweet tea yet. That's what I get for not spending $25 on useless food, right? I just wanted tea. Don't give me somebody. There we go. Wonderful All right, thank you, too. thank you. All right, now, now I got a lot of compliments today on my hair. Everybody loves it, so I guess I have to keep it this. Shit, my tea almost went over. Whew. Um, I guess I'll have to keep it this way. You know what? I got to put my other cup holder in here too. Everybody can wait behind me. Okay. Um, I'll pull around here out of everybody's way. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to be keeping my hair this color for a while. I was going to go back to blonde for the summer, but, um, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'm not going to promise anybody, but, yeah. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Okay. So, we'll be able to hit the road now. And uh, why the tea don't want to sit right? Alrighty then. Um, so anyhow, I um, went to say goodbye and see if you know there was anything I could help her with. And I went over and I said, you know, hey Mayor, she wouldn't look at me. And I said, uh, are you okay? She look at me. I said, all right, Mayor, I'll see you tomorrow. She got this smirk on her face and she would not look at me. So you know what? I'm done. I have nothing to say to her anymore. You know, I've tried not to intervene. I've tried to treat her nice. Well, I was the last one out of the whole bunch of us right there that was talking to her. So I guess she just uh, bit the hair off that motherfucker. It's going to bite her. So I'm done with that. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not going to create any problem with my hair. So this is what the humidity does. Um, I'm going to push it, but I, I'm not going to go out of my way to ask her if she needs help. I'm not going to go over there and go out of my way to say good morning. She doesn't do it. But I'll guarantee you, if we decide to go tomorrow, i got to get this hair out of my face, guys. If we decide to go tomorrow, and my husband's with me, she'll be there. she got the hot trots for my hubby, which I don't care I don't compete with anybody for anybody. My husband wants to be with me, he'll be with me. If he decides one day he don't want to, he don't want to. What the fuck? You know, it happens. But he does, so I ain't worried about nothing. I am not the jealous type. Mm -mm. That don't make a relationship good, all that jealousy and bullshit and ownership and whatever it is that people do and got to know where they're at, text all the time. And mm -mm. No, that is not on my agenda. Ever, never, ever has been. My husband will tell you that. He can go and tell me he's going, and I wait for, he to, for him to come back. If he lies, and I find out he lied, then we'll deal with it. But I've not had that issue, so he's a good one. So yeah. Anyhow, we'll see. I may not go up there tomorrow. I may go back this evening or early, early in the morning, and because I left my cloths on my table, so we usually do Saturday to Sunday, and. Uh, I'll wrap them up. I'll put them in my car. I can't be done for this weekend. I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to... Well, I'm going to be there next week, Saturday. I don't know about Sunday. To, oh, excuse me. Um, Sunday next week. Um, because we'll be on our way back from camping. Um, you know, Chris can undo the RV and park it all by himself but uh, you know I got this thing about the water and I'm thinking if we get it all tied up early then we'll see though. actually it depends on the heat on Sundays up uh, with him because he doesn't do the heat real good and I get it you know, a lot of people don't 
I do. Um, well, as long as I'm not enclosed, you know, somewhere where the air is not moving, then I, you know, I'm like everybody else. But... So we'll see what we'll see. But it was a great day. Um, I had some nice chats with people. That's what it's all about, meeting people, talking to them. And, uh, and you know, I network with everybody else. If they need a helping hand, I'm right there helping them. If they need to, you know, step away to go to the ladies' room or whatever, I'm there. I'm watching their shit for them. And that's what it's all about. So we have a nice little group of about maybe, I'm going to say maybe 12 different of us, maybe a little more. Um, and we get along just fine, so. And I like being there. I like it better in the milder weather because then everybody else is happy. My lips are chapped. I gotta get out my chapstick. But, um. Watch, I probably didn't bring it. But, um, yeah. I don't, I don't know why people gotta be like they gotta be. Trying to reach for my chapstick, but I'm not finding it. And I know it's in here. Back zipper pocket. Doing like 65 miles an hour. Whoops, down the road. I really don't want to take my eyes off the road, so I'll feel for it. There it is. So, uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful day. I got uh, some work to do when I get home. I got uh, 25, I don't know, like 5x5. Five by five candle bags, burlap candle bags to monogram, and I have an apron to uh, put a logo on, and a shirt to logo, all this is going to be for the same person, all matching logo, um, so I'll work on this, e this evening, anyhow, I'm just center some rough drafts of what it's going to look like, so yeah, I mean, it, it, I can't complain. Today has been a great day. I feel good. My energy level is starting to come back a little bit. I still having issues, but um, I'm going to have to hit me in the fucking head if they think they're going to stop me with this little bitty bullshit of being tired. I'm not going to succumb to that. I know this iced tea tastes good, guys. Sorry about that, but I have been outside since about 8 o'clock, 8.15 this morning. So uh, I got a little parched because I had a cup of coffee and I had a Code Red all day long. I didn't have time to stop to grab anything. So I think if I come back tomorrow, I'm going to bring a cooler. I got bottled water there. I just haven't brought any ice or anything. So uh, I'm going to bring a cooler full of ice. And uh, she in a hurry. I'm doing 70. In a 60. But there's nobody on this road. So. Um, yeah, especially if Chris comes with me. He's going to need to be hydrated. So that man don't go anywhere without a cup. We went to dinner last night and he had to go back in and get his cup and fill it up and take it with him. And, you know, I, I get it. Everybody's different. I, I don't fault him for that at all. That's his thing. That's That makes him feel good. That's his comfort. Oh, I got no problem with that. At all. So yeah, this is a great day, and I can't say that enough. I haven't had a day like this, and especially at the market, in quite a while. So it don't take a lot to be beat down, really, it doesn't. It doesn't, but once you get my ass fired up, it takes a lot to calm me down. We're not going to go there today. Go home, I might get in the pool. I'm going to talk to my husband into getting in the pool. That's what we'll do. Because I don't think there's... I don't think there's anything I have to do. I I know him. He'll want to fiddle with something that fucking plugs in. Um, 
I'm going to pull by myself. I'm not going to, oh man, this guy pulls right out in front of me. Come on, come on, pedal that fucking car faster. And I can't, I can't get over it. Little girl with hair the same color as mine on a little three wheel something, I don't know, it sits low to the ground. some stuff in the RV, get close to the time I can load it up with food, and I'll do that, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, I have some stuff out there somewhere, so anyhow, I just got nothing to come on here and complain about or bitch about or lose my mind about or gosh if growing old can stay like this well we all hate growing old because we know what the inevitability is of it but if all the rest of my days could be like today bring them on bring them on maybe that's why I have some energy too because good days, you know, good days will pep you up and just do good things you know I don't know, I'm all quit questioning it it is what it is and it's wonderful I need to at my trip meter next time I come so I know exactly how many miles I'm going. I know it's 20 something. I don't know, it's, but it's 20 miles. Um, 21 maybe, 22. But that's just a skip and a jump on 19 because it's a straight shot. You pull out of the market, straight down 19, the unbusy part of 19. Then you make a left off at 19, go about a mile down. There we go. So, you know. That guy drives that big truck with his side mirrors broken up. Because that's a big truck. I don't know if I can do that or not. Tell him each to his own. Today would have been a was supposed to rain. It hasn't yet. It may still because we get those uh, late afternoon uh, showers usually every day now. And, uh, but not always right here, you know, by where I live or whatever. Sometimes they're a little south, a little north, a little east, a little west, whatever. But there's always rain this time of day. I can see some clouds off to the east, so... Looks like they might be getting a little something, but very typical. I like whatever this one is. You know, I got this when I was in the hospital, Memorial Hospital of Tampa. It has no flavor. It's clear. See? Don't turn my lips red. <clears throat> I can use regular. Is it chapstick? I think. No color, no nothing, and it turns my lips red. Well, my fish lips, you know, these little cracks and crevices I got right here on my face that open all the time. Like that. Um, okay, now we're putting our brakes on. There's like three cars in front of me, and now I'm down to doing 45 miles an hour. Okay, I'm out of this lane. I'm done with these people. I'll go to this slow lane. I guess we get in the fast lane, like usual, and we just drive 45 miles an hour when the speed limit is 60. And here we go, right past these three slow freaking cars. And actually, this one that's holding everybody up is the one a little while ago. Remember I said, oh my God, they're going by me. They're in a hurry or whatever I said about them going fast. Yeah, I'm passing with them now. They're the ones 
holding up the traffic. And I'm gonna get mad about it. Because I'm in front of them now. And we're going again. We're back in 65, so. Here comes another one cutting right over in front of my guy in front of me going slow. What's up with this? I don't get it. Here we go. We have to go to the right hand lane now to pass people. Why? I think that's against the law. But again, here we go. Car number one on my left. Ready to pass car number two on my left. If the guy in front of me will pedal just a little bit faster in his little Subaru. And I will just scoot right over like this and get around both of them. There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved, problem solved. I'm getting ready to get up here on my left hand turn anyhow, so. Gosh, I didn't even look to see if, um, all these has sent me an email to tell me whether or not they have my stuff. Last email I got was this morning and said they're preparing my order. I really don't want to drive over here out of my way and find out that, you know, 24 hours later and they haven't let me know that they didn't have it. They said it had in stock, so, but you know how that goes. Alrighty, let's go around this slow, Joe. one of those standalone shit now I gotta stop one of those um standalone ATM machines over here and um I'll just stop there that's all I'm oh, sorry about that noise I know this is the fastest I've ever drank in a glass of anything in my life it must have been a little dry traffic out today. I wonder what's going on. Well, I don't even know why I'm saying that because when I moved up here about 15 years ago, there wasn't a lot of traffic. It was like it is, has been the last week or two. So, but the school will be out soon. All the kids will be out running around. So moms will have to be out entertaining kids. And then, for some reason, when the kids are out of school in the north and other places, they come down in the summer. So, you know, when people say, well, you know, season's over. No, 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 no. But we haven't had a season here in years. People come all... Where is this guy go? I'm getting the fuck out of his way. Um, people come all year long now. So, um, what in the hell? Well, that's an accident waiting to happen right there in her little Hyundai Elantra. Come right across three lanes of traffic like her butt was on fire. Mm -mm. Anyhow, that's on her and her car insurance when she... And now here she comes right back over. Anyhow, I'm going to ignore um, I forgot what the hell I was saying. I guess, oh, yeah, about seasons. Uh, we've had this talk before. There is no season in Florida anymore. There hasn't been. I've been here. Let's see. My oldest daughter's going to be 47, so I've been here 45 years that I can count for. And uh, there's been no season. That was like shit when I was a little girl. You know, we'd come down in here in the winter time because grandma and grandpa lived down here in the winter <clears throat> and summered back in Ohio. And those were the years when, you know, winter people were down here. Where they got the name Snowbirds? Because people come from all over the world. I never could get that one, Snowbirds. I'm a Snowbird. I was born in Ohio. Makes me one, I guess, because where I was born, I don't know. I don't get it. So, where 
there's all of these. Not too far, maybe a couple of blocks. I think I was in the same place as I am the other day when I was looking for all these. I said, oh, I'm gonna pull in. And it was up the road a little bit. I guess I'll probably should check my email. They got my money, so I better get my stuff. I know that. And they said between three and four was the tentative pickup. I haven't gotten confirmation, but I haven't looked either since. So maybe there's my Aldi's. Oh, it's ready for pickup. Perfect. I'm on my way is what I pushed. It said, I'm, I've never done this before, so I've never let a store, but it's bread. And they can't hurt this bread. It's a sourdough. Um, but when I saw it, I was going to put my order in for it before, you know, somebody went and picked it off the shelf. Follow the signs to the designated pickup. I don't even got to get out of my car. Let us know when you arrive. And we'll bring it to you. Well, you got some shit. Here's the store. Oh, how about that? Well, let's go to Aldi's and stay in the car and get our stuff. I don't know where the designated pickup. Oh, it's temperature controlled until arrival. That's good to know. Okay. Well, I guess when I pull in, We'll say, I'm here, I'm here. I'd rather go in and get it, but that's okay. So I gotta get out of the car at the ATM anyhow. So. And I believe it's right up the street. And, um, I get through this traffic, it would be good. I'm not even doing that. That guy's coming too fast. I can pedal fast, but not that fast. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling a sneeze coming on. I certainly am. Well, I like that they keep it temperature controlled, though. I never heard that before. Well, I don't do this, so I guess that's why. Okay, order online. Where do I go to get it, though? I don't know. Order, maybe over here? I don't know. Maybe I just pick a parking spot. And number three is good for me. Check in via text or app instruction. Okay, guys, this is a new one on me. I'm at the store. I'm at the pickup parking. I want to know which number. Come on, I gotta tell what color my car is. It's blue. It's a little car. It's a blue sedan. A Chevy. Come on, guys. I'm right here in three. I'm the only one in the pickup. All right. I could have been in the store and grabbed it by now. Five minutes. Why do I gotta wait five minutes? I told him I was coming. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I never, this is the first time ever, ever, ever doing this. I don't let them pick my orders and pick it up. It, I, I did one time, I think, for cat food and uh, litter. Um, But yeah, I watch them Walmart pickers, and you know what? If they're at Walmart, they're everywhere doing that shit. The way they throw food in them bins, and um, I don't use Walmart's meat any kind at all, anyhow. But I see them picking meat out for people, and yeah. This is my grandson. Hello. Hey. Do you have any alcohol wipes on? Um, I have rubbing alcohol under in the center um, 
Do you need the wipes? I've got alcohol, rubbing alcohol in the center door underneath my sink in my bathroom. Huh? Oh, hold on a minute, babe. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah, honey, that's perfect. Thank you. It's my first time doing it, so it's great. Am I good then? You're good to go. Thanks. You too. Okay, John, what, honey? Uh, you know, I probably have them, um, and if I do, they're under the sink or somewhere in Grandpa's bathroom. I don't know exactly where. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll be home in a few minutes. I'm going to, um, I'm over here at Aldi's picking up the bread, and then I'm going to, I'm stopping at the bank, and I'll be home. So if Nico gets there, tell him to hold on. All right, honey, I'll see you in a few. I found, I found All right, perfect. Love you. All right, love you. Bye. That's my angel grandson. Yeah, when I left this morning and didn't have my freaking square, I don't know why I didn't take it. I usually leave it there and leave it on charge, but it wasn't working right last week, and I think I threw it in my purse so Chris could figure out if it was the square or the phone or me, you know. I don't even think we looked at it, and it was fine today when I turned it on. I didn't have to use it. Everybody was paying with cash today. Anyhow, um... Yeah, he drove all the way up there and brought his grandma the square. He's such a good kid. He's a real good kid. I love him. I wish all kids today had the, half of the compassion that he has. It would be a whole lot better. Although, you know what? I run into a lot of sweet kids um, out and about at the market. You know, if you deal with them on their level... You know, and don't expect them to be like everybody else. Deal with them with who they are. They're pretty good kids. They're CATM. They're good kids. They really are. Uh, I love kids anyhow, so. Especially teens. I love teens because they're so inquisitive, you know, and they want to hear something right instead of what people want them to hear. They want to hear something right. They want to hear something different, you know. So I do that for them if I can Okay, kids, I'm going to jump off of here, and I'm going to go to the ATM, and I'll check back later. Thanks for riding with me. It was a great ride. I appreciate y'all for stopping in. If you want to push my buttons, go ahead. If not, y'all, you know what I say. I'm just here because I care about you. I want to keep everybody moving and let you know you can grow old without growing old. All right, see you soon. Bye.